And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 6th Annual NNSCRA Royal Rumble, live from Talladega, No Walls Repaid. I'm Seth Cole, and welcome to maybe one of the most unusual events ever held here in the Enter 2003 community. Today we are going to have our largest field ever. 80 drivers will take to this racetrack and will try and claim their stake in NR2003 immortality. This, as I said, very unusual. We've never had an event like it before, and this is the sixth time that we are doing it here on this channel. For those of you that have no idea what the Royal Rumble's all about, let's get down now to the nitty gritty and give you the rules of how this event is going to go down. Two drivers will be starting the event. All drivers, all 80, drivers 1 through 80, all were done at random. The drivers do not know what numbers they will be coming in until they find out what number they drew. The drivers that drew numbers 1 and 2 will start off the event. They will race around this track for one lap. After that lap is complete, the driver that drew number 3 will join them. This will occur until every driver has entered into this event, and every single time that a driver enters, they will race only one lap before a new entry will enter into this race. Eliminations will occur when a driver leaves the bounds of the racetrack, so if you end up going below that yellow line on the apron, all four tires must go below it, and it will result in your elimination from the Royal Rumble. If in the turns you go off the outside of the racetrack, same for the back straightaway and front straightaway. You are also eliminated. There's one place where there's a little bit of a discrepancy on whether you're eliminated or not. That is out of turn four. There is a dotted white line that leads to pit road. If all four of your tires go down below that, you are also eliminated from competing in the continuation of the Royal Rumble event. Also important to point out that drivers are going to try and eliminate their opponents, trying to put them into those out-of-bounds situations, but if you yourself also go out-of-bounds, you have eliminated yourself from a chance of winning the Royal Rumble as well. Once everybody enters the event, all 80 drivers, then the survivors, I'll call them, will be taking part in a 10-lap shootout where it's winner-take-all. First one to cross the stripe at the end of those 10 laps will be declared the Royal Rumble winner. A lot of times it comes down to that very last lap. And the question this season will be, how many of these survivors will we see take part in that 10 lap shootout? But now it's time to go trackside and it's time to find out what drivers drew numbers one and two as we get ready to get the Royal Rumble underway here today. So the first entry of the 6th Annual Royal Rumble will be none other than Zach Buchanan, the number 14 Home Depot Chevrolet. Zach Buchanan going to be uh, one of the more unlucky drivers in this Royal Rumble. Has to do it all the way from position number one. Let's see who he's going to face off against. It will be Henry Sanfer in the 40 car. So, boy, every driver, when they start the Royal Rumble, the thing they don't want to have happen is come in as entries one or two because that means they have a total of 79 other drivers they have to face off against. So, we'll get underway here. Last year it was two laps around. This year it's one lap around. And I'm actually being joined here in the booth for this first quarter of the Royal Rumble by a guy that will be in this event, but uh, he's not in entries one through 20. Michael Norman. Michael, thanks for joining me. Hey, what's going on? So, uh, this is the Royal Rumble. Luckily for you, you're not in entries 1 through 20, but uh, from your perspective, what kind of a chance have these guys got here in the first quarter of the Rumble? Well, you just gotta really be lucky. I mean, you know, you just with, with two cars, you're definitely not going to see an elimination right away. Uh... Once, once we get, uh, once we get, I think maybe four or more cars. That's when I think we'll see our first elimination. But for the, uh, for these early drivers, it's all about just trying to stay away and just make the lap around. So basically, it's just survive for these guys, especially Buchanan and Sam, for getting entries one and two. Think about it this way: for the for these first two, for these first two, it's just, uh, eight, it's just pretty much eighty laps around. The college. Wallace Talladega. Exactly, exactly. And just try and stay away from everybody else as well. As here comes entry number three, Pichu London in the 36. And if memory serves me correctly, 
He was a part of last year's Royal Rumble, and he came in at an early entry at that point, too, so Royal Rumble draws have not been kind to London the last two times out. No, not at all. And, uh, but like, even though, it's just, it's just like I said, all, it's pretty much just 80 laps around, so you just gotta, they, you can think of this as like a testing session for any of, the, for any of these cars, for, for these cars that people drive in other leagues, you know? Think of it, even though there's no walls and you're going 260 miles an hour, you can be like a test session and just don't leave the racetrack. For these guys especially, they're just trying to make it to entry number 20 because when we get to entry number 20, they're going to throw the red flag. There'll be a little bit of a break before they bring out entries 21 through 40. Same for entries 41 through 60 and then, of course, the final 20 entries. So for these drivers, that's basically right now, I think, their main goal. But this is the Royal Rumble. When do you start focusing on eliminations? Because keep in mind, yeah, you're racing these guys, but if you guys all survive, that's your competition in that final 10-lap segment. Well... I mean, think about it before, like last season, who was it? It was uh, Jessica Dillon Cueva, where she would just eliminate somebody right at the start of the race. I remember that, exactly. Yeah. But you also want to pick and choose your eliminations, as you see Matt McIntyre come out in entry number four. Yeah, Matt McIntyre was actually uh, one of the first people to actually sign up and unfortunately didn't get the draw he was looking for. So we're going to have four Chevys out on track. And another interesting thing about the Royal Rumble is we're going to see teammate cars come out here. Very shortly, we'll probably see the 24, the 5, cars that are normally associated as teammates to the 48 coming out here. But this is not a team-related event. This is every man, every woman for themselves. This is, there is no teammates. Yeah, you can find a partner to work with, but there's no, no such thing as teammates in the Royal Rumble. And of course, one thing that these drivers were doing too is during the testing session, trying to work out new ways of elimination here in this Royal Rumble. And, you know, there's, there's ways that you can do it, but a lot of times we see when you try to eliminate someone, these cars, they're made of metal, and metal can hook to each other, and a lot of times drivers find themselves eliminating themselves in the process of trying to eliminate an opponent. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the one thing you got to really be careful about as well. You see the 48 car kind of get off Yeah, the that's close there. He didn't put all four tires down beneath that yellow line, as we stated during the race rules. All four tires need to be below for him to be eliminated, so playing with fire there, but maybe that's a way for him to just get out of the way and not... Uh, get into anybody as Matthew Dalio is going to come in as entry number five so it'll be our first Toyota in this event one thing that I also uh, was noticing here you know when you think about it with these drivers coming in so early they basically have to try to work with each other to not wreck each other yeah I mean the way that this track is built I've been out on this racetrack and if you carry enough speed into the corner, that car is going to slide up on you, and you almost have no control over it. Yeah. It's, it's slightly difficult. So I'm wondering how they've made this track. I didn't know that they made the... I, I oh, 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 we got our first elimination, I think. Two eliminations, both of the 40 and the other... Uh, out in the 14. That's our, that's our first two entries, Buchanan and Sanford. Well, I guess uh, they didn't when I said it was a lap It was very close as well on the high side there for Matthew Dalio, but I think only about half of his car went off the racetrack, so I think he's still in. As, boy, two quick eliminations here. Didn't take long at all, and Zach Buchanan and Henry Samford are both out of this event after starting in entries one and two, and I think the car that got credited with the eliminations was the 36 of Pichu London. Oh, so Stephen Pollard the third, the only Volkswagen Jetta, will be in the Royal Rumble at entry number six. Stephen Pollard the third. This was a thing on his bucket list. He said that he wanted to run the Royal Rumble. So the only thing he's never really done in NSRA competition. Well, he's doing it here today, but the entry certainly not on his side. No, not at all. So now we've got two Chevys, a Volkswagen and a Toyota, and oh, look out, there's another one! Actually, that might be two. Yeah, I think London and Dalio both went down beneath the yellow line. We do have a drone camera, which we are going to try and get here in just a minute to see if indeed both cars did go down below the yellow line in the back straightaway. Here it is. And yep, both of them went down there. 
So as soon as we have six entries, we've got four eliminations. And uh, this basically answers our question that they want to survive, but they don't want these, these drivers out there with a chance of maybe taking them out of the event. They're trying to strike first before they get struck. Yes, absolutely. So next entry is going to be actually our first Ford of the day. Ryan Shelton in the 35 and Pichu London early exit for him out of entry number three. But right now he holds the top position for most eliminations in a total of four so far. And uh, of course you alluded to Jessica Villanueva eliminated a lot of people in last season's Royal Rumble. And if memory serves me correctly, she actually eliminated the most. So that's another thing that some drivers will look for, of course. In P.G. London's case, he really hopes, wishes that uh, one of those entries wasn't him that he eliminated. Yeah, I know. Whoa, a little almost close there with Matt McIntyre and uh, Ryan Shelton. And as this thing starts to go along here, it, it always seems to be the same thing. The drivers, when there's like two or three of them out there, they're willing to play nice. They're willing to survive. But when we start to build up to five, six, seven drivers, they just can't seem to help themselves. Then their mind focuses on elimination. Yeah, exactly. So Matt McIntyre, Stephen Pollard III, and Ryan Shelton. Looks like they're going to continue here. Another thing that uh, is different here that we mentioned before, last year it was two laps around this track before the next entry came in. This time it's only once. There's not much time to be able to try and eliminate somebody. Does that kind of add into uh, the urgency of eliminating someone as Sam Young comes into entry number eight? Uh, I think that's a little bit. You, know, you always want to make sure that there's not a lot of cars because... You don't want to be an ent you don't want to come in at your entry number and there'll be like seven cars on the track because that just increases the, the chances of you being eliminated. Speaking of elimination, just want to mention Zach Buchanan and Henry Sanford, they both survived four rounds. Pichu London also survived four rounds, and Matthew Dalio, the shortest amount of time in the Royal Rumble so far, two rounds for the eighty one is now we've got ourselves a little bit of a mixture here. Wait, what was that? But that doesn't beat last year's record. No, last year's record. I don't even remember who it was, but it was, what, they the... They eliminated them right, right off the track. Yeah, it was at That's least point. maybe just 100 feet past the start finish line, and they were gone. The green flag and elimination. Wonder if we'll see that again this year. You got to think that some of these people, Sam Young got close to the apron there, that these people, they look back, you know, those making debuts, those even that have run this before, they look back over the tapes, they look at how eliminations took place and they try and master that here in this Royal Rumble because, you know, you kind of have to do homework for this kind of a thing as next entry is the first dodge, Ben Braley in the 45. Uh, yeah, Ben, Ben, you know, being the first for first dodge in the field, you know, that's, that's great TV time. And it, this is the only time of year when WWE meets an NSCRA slash NRPO. Pretty much. Ooh, the 45 is up to the outside a little bit there. Maybe trying to cut the quarter panel. Yeah, that's one thing that I noticed during uh, practice when drivers were just kind of working with each other. If they go low behind the other driver in the turn, then there's going to be problems. But if they go high, they're able to give enough room, scrub off enough speed, and remain behind them. As you saw right there, Matt McIntyre was actually shoving Sam Young down the back straightaway. That was a little close. That's a good move. I see him that far high, going to lose a lot of ground, so he's got no risk of getting eliminated. Exactly. I mean, right now, they're not racing for the checkered flag to win this thing. So, you know, if you back out right around the back, you got a better chance of surviving this thing. And I remember last season, I think it was Charles Jackson ended up doing that, and he survived a number of rounds and made it to the final 10-lap shootout. Yeah, there's no rule against, uh, uh, against slowing down. Exactly. It may be the Royal Rumble, but that doesn't mean that you have to focus on eliminating people. You can certainly play a conservative. Garrett Snyder like comes in here at entry number 10. We're already halfway through this first quarter segment. See, now we have six cars on the field. If none of these get eliminated, then I would really hate to be the next couple entries. Yeah, exactly, because that's when it starts to build up, usually around five, six, seven race cars, and then starts, real estate starts running out, and drivers start thinking, hmm, maybe I can make this move. As, wow, they're that right back there, that Garrett Snyder. Oh, Ryan Shelton's out! Uh-oh. But is Ben Braley? That's the question. That was close. We're waiting for official scoring from NSA Ray. They use multiple camera angles here to find out if someone is eliminated or not. 
and they take into consideration whether or not the Goodyear tires were still on the yellow line. And from what they're telling me, he was just barely below the yellow line. So Ben Braley, that's a tough break there for the 45 as he's only going to survive one round and he's done. Yeah, we were missing the 35, Ryan Shelton also out now as Austin LaPlante will come onto the racetrack at entry number 11. So Ryan Shelton gets eliminated by Ben Braley. Braley also gets credited with eliminating himself. So two eliminations for Ben Braley, a very short debut here in the sixth annual Royal Rumble. With eliminating yourself. Exactly. I'm one elimination away from the record. Okay, I'll eliminate myself. You know, it, it's so hard, though, with these race cars. You know, NSRA deciding to use the Gen 6 machines here for this one. Oh, there's some more elimination. That time, I think it was Matt McIntyre eliminating himself and Garrett Snyder. Matt McIntyre been in since entry number four, the longest amount of time here in the Royal Rumble and rim riding here at Dega. So he's out, so too is the... Let's see, which car was that? Garrett Snyder in the 16. Getting a little confused up here. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of drivers, a lot of cars. Got to keep them all straight. But credit goes to Stephen Paul at the third, who's still in this. Yes, he is. Now he's the one that's in here the longest. At entry number six, still running in this event. Is here comes... I don't give a crap 12. <laughs> The number 12 entry, Danny Wells. That car normally out of Tweenix Racing, but uh, pretty much since it's the Royal Rumble, we don't really mention the teams that these uh, cars are distributed by. Rumble. Exactly. So now four drivers out here. Need to make mention Garrett Snyder's elimination and Matt McIntyre's elimination, both going to Matt McIntyre. So now Matt McIntyre has two eliminations, but he's out. Uh, ben Braley has two eliminations, but he's out. And Pichu London right now holds the record for this season with four eliminations, but he has also made an early exit from the Royal Rumble. So right now, the longevity award goes to Stephen Pollard III, been in since entry number six. So this is his uh, sixth round that he survived to. Is Wow, Sam Young trying to go up there, kind of block Danny Wells. And it, it was interesting in practice to really watch these guys try and test out elimination tactics. And quite honestly, I, I think it comes more down to luck than execution. Yeah. Next entry, gonna be... How do you like that? Sorry, I had to. Only... <laughs> the only Audi... <laughs> the only Audi RS4 in this field at entry number 13. Right off the bat. He probably is going to be. It's <laughs> probably going to just be karma for me. Anthony goes down to the throw! He's <laughs> oh boy. But Anthony McCurry, the only Audi in this field, in this 80 car Royal Rumble. That is a lot. Now, the reason yeah. that was 80 cars for people that might not know. Oh, there we go. Danny Wells eliminated by oh, Sam Young. Okay. No, he's waiting for Sean Galligan. <laughs> oh my god, is that hard? <laughs> That'd be amazing. For people that don't know, you gotta go back, you gotta watch the, uh... Yep. Oh, was like, oh! Was he out? No, they're saying his, his left front was still in bounds. That was oh. close, though. I swear to god, though, <laughs> That was close. I can't wait for Galligan to get into this now. I hope McCurry survives for Galligan. <laughs> Next entry, another debuting driver will be the Budweiser Chevrolet at entry number 14, Cooper Siron. Cooper Siron actually one of the uh, first drivers to sign up once the signups were open. So we'll see how he does in his very first Royal Rumble. Need to make mention, Sam Young gets credit for eliminating himself and Danny Wells. Sam Young had actually been in since entry number eight, so he had survived a total of five rounds. That actually is the uh, second highest 
Matt McIntyre, who was just recently eliminated after he took himself and Garrett Snyder out, has actually survived the longest uh, for eliminated drivers, a total of seven rounds. So... Are these, are these drivers allowed to communicate with with each other while they're on the race track? No, they aren't. No, it's basically every man and woman for themselves. All they're talking to are their spotters and their crew chiefs. There is no, there are no teammates, so there's really no need for team communications. Oh, okay. really high. Yeah, Cooper Siron close there and brought Anthony McCurry right to his back bumper. That eight, we'll see if that eight car can bring luck. That's the old school Dale Jr. And one thing about this track, too, that maybe people don't realize with the speeds here, but there are no restrictor plates. These drivers are going over 200 miles per hour, and if they carry that much speed into turn three, turn one, with going on the high side, they may end up eliminating themselves by going off the edge on turn three, turn four areas. Raven Young will be coming in in his debut to the Royal Rumble at entry number 15. Assuming no relation between him and Dylan Young? No, there is no relation. Matter of fact, with the name, uh, he actually did not give me a Royal Rumble entry music um, selection. I seriously thought about using the WWF Ravens uh, theme, but I didn't. <laughs> I seriously thought about it. It just seemed like it'd be a good idea. But Oh, look out! Wow, I think he did not go down. Yes, <laughs> what a save by Siron! might be the first time that we're actually in sync with something because usually when we record races you're, we're, the, whoever's watching is like usually a minute behind or like a, a couple seconds that's, that's the first time we're actually able to call this like legitly together exactly well this is the same method that i actually used last season with uh james mcleod when he helped me bring the fifth royal rumble to you guys and i helped you too i think nope no. it was just mcleod oh no that's right yeah it was so I'll cooper siron a near, a near heart failure experience there. He saves it, stays he's, in. He's all like, hey guys, I'm, on this 20 minute break, can I have another pair of underwear? Exactly. A pair of underwear and a baby yeah, aspirin. Dallin at entry number 16, who in the very first Royal Rumble lost to Aaron Williams by a splitter. Trying to go for some redemption here in the sixth Royal Rumble. And of course, we can't, like I said, there's, there's no teammates or anything in this, but if any indication, we already have a Tweenix driver and a Tweenix entry uh, eliminated. So, uh, yeah, good luck, Poti. <laughs> I just want to see Gallagher comes out there. I want to see McCurry go. I want to see McCurry survive and, and Galligan come in. They're going to go three wide down the back straightaway here. Dylan Poti. Oh, look at McCurry. Whoa. Jesus. Was he out or wasn't he? I could not tell. Not the 06. Watch out. Okay. I think McCrory was still in bounds barely, but man, that that literally the banking is a reverse banking on the apron. So how he made the transition from the inside apron banking back to the racetrack and did not go sliding up the racetrack and off, I'm not sure. But apparently they are saying he is still in. Oh, it looked like Yeah, well, they crossed the start finish line, so any wrecking that took place, they would still be in. As James Shelley comes in at entry number 17, the Florida Gators Chevrolet. Yeah. And that being entry number 17 means we've only got three more drivers before we end up having our first commercial break and our first red flag for these drivers to kind of catch their breath and get themselves ready for the second quarter of this event. You know, everybody moved up to the high line. Dylan Poteet's like, nope, I'm just going to stay down here on the bottom away from all you guys. <laughs> Whoa, little contact there. Oh, oh, oh. Austin LaPlante, okay. Dylan Poteet. Out, Dallin. Whoa, Dallin. Yikes, look out. They're going to go three wide, four wide off of four here. This ain't oh. good. Oh, there goes Poteet. I don't think he was eliminated. I think he was killed. I'm not sure. We're waiting for scoring. And they're saying he was eliminated. He just barely went to the out of bounds, and that was almost like a tag team maneuver between Austin LaPlante and Anthony McCrory. The 43 sent the 61 up into the 31, and Poteet, a very early exit from the rumble. I expect him to make a little bit longer than that, but 
Boy, that's a heartbreak there as here comes in another debut driver, Carter Baker in the U.S. Army number 01 Chevrolet, entry number 18. And that's the unpredictability of this Royal Rumble. I mean, look at some of these names that we have had here in this Royal Rumble that are already gone. Pichu London, Danny Wells, and now Dylan Poteet. Drivers who just did not get the benefit of a good draw number. Yeah, that's what happens while being so early, but my hat, I still tip my hat to Stephen Pollard III for staying in the Royal Rumble. So do I. Entry number six still in this thing right now. This is his 12th round. That, that is quite a job by that Volkswagen Jetta. You see him again. Move way up to... Oh, Steven! Yikes. He's like, I just want to put my two tires out there. Yeah, that, that's one way to cool the tires off, I guess. <laughs> let, let the air get to that's him. That's one way to blow your engine. <laughs> cool is, is there a rule that says if you blow your engine, you're eliminated? As long as you stay in bounds, you're still good. If you make it to the start-finish line and you're still in bounds, then you still <laughs> are in it. Guys, I'm in the <laughs> Benjamin Miles comes in at entry number 19, the Interstate Batteries Toyota. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and by the way, just to uh, point out that the elimination of Dylan Pote was actually credited to Anthony McCrory, even though the contact came between 61 to 43. With LaPlante sending Whoa. McCurry. Oh, we got another car off. That is the eight car of Cooper Siron. Are you sure? That, that Toyota looks like it got turned off as well. Trying to see who it was. I was looking at my entry list. The Toyota in the back, the red and, the red and the yellow one that got turned as well. Raven Young in the 93? I think so, yeah. So... More elimination taking place here. Oh, oh, and there goes Benjamin Miles! Another maneuver with the 43 and the 61! Maybe he's coming back on the track. He's coming back on the track, but unfortunately, he was off and out of bounds. So Benjamin Miles, well, we now have a new record holder, at least for this Royal Rumble for shortest amount of time. That would be the 18 of Benjamin Miles. Didn't even make it around one lap. As here comes our final entry for this segment, the number 30 of Elijah Gordon. And indeed you are correct, James Shelley gets credit for eliminating that 93 of Raven Young, he's out, Cooper Siron out, he's actually scored eliminating himself. <laughs> only person he eliminated today. So now for these six, they oh. want to try and keep it together here. So that way they can make it into the next oh. segment. What is the yikes? LaPlante almost got eliminated by Elijah Gordon. Yeah, but you were close. And it's interesting, too, because now we're starting to see maybe a new technique of elimination. Oh. Anthony McCurry twice has used the door bang to eliminate drivers here. Oh, oh Steven! Oh, yeah. And look at LaPlante. LaPlante's moving up to try and eliminate him. He's like, no. Steven no. stays on. Wow. As they come to the line, all six will continue into the next round, into the next quarter. Shelley, Baker, McCrory, LaPlante, Pollard, and Elijah Gordon. Boy. So we'll have our seventh car on track with entry number 21 in the next segment. And as we take a look here at the order of coming in and drivers that were eliminated and everything, what stands out to you, Michael? Well, the fact that uh, at least we have six cars remaining is a big, like, plus. And, like, and credit goes to Stephen Pollard III for staying in for all, for all of those, or mo the majority of those. So yeah. my pick for the next, I think, if I had a choice to pick for the next round based off of who's left, I say Stephen Pollard III will advance to, to, to the third part of this Royal Rumble. He's definitely using the conservative strategy, that's for sure. Seems to drop to the back most of these segments. And how about that last-minute move where he went up there to the outside line, LaPlante tried to eliminate him, and I'm, I guarantee you that 06 car, the wheel was turned dead left to keep himself in bounds. I think he was almost trying to bait LaPlante. Maybe, maybe he was thinking trying to eliminate LaPlante La himself. Maybe, but boy, that almost didn't work out for him. Right now, Stephen Powell III in the second segment, he will be continuing on a 14-round 
longevity. He has really kept himself in it. You got Austin LaPlante in at entry number 11. He's still in it, along with McCurry at entry number 13. And then, of course, James Shelley, Carter Baker, Elijah Gordon, of course, getting the benefit of coming in with later entries at 17, 18, and 20. How about some of these drivers that have been eliminated early? A couple of favorites like Dylan Poteet, who finished runner-up in the very first Royal Rumble. He will not be go being able to get redemption. And, of course, some other drivers who did not get the benefit of, of uh, getting late entry numbers like Pichu Lund and Zach Buchanan. Yeah, definitely. But the later your number, the better chance you have of surviving. Although, I wouldn't count out Stephen Paul the third and the rest of these other and the other five drivers who, who, is, who made it all in this far. Well, the next entries that will be in segment two of four are going to be entries 21 through 40. Who's going to be in those entries? We're going to be finding out same time that you do when segment two comes out. Michael, I want to thank you for joining me here for segment one. Don't know what entry you're going to be in, but want to wish you luck here. As we know you're at least not going to be here in these uh, first 20, and hopefully you're able to learn something you'll be able to apply when you get on to the racetrack here for the Royal Rumble. Oh, yeah, definitely. Always put my two tires on the outside of the wall in turn four. Aha, there you go. You <laughs> heard it here first, folks. That's the race-winning strategy. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if it really is. If it really happens. <laughs> it oh, really man. Happens, and then, of course, we're both really hoping that Sean Galligan's going to still gonna be on track when Anthony McCurry's on there because <laughs> that would be just perfect. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you, everybody, for watching here. The cars are currently sitting on pit road, and then they'll be getting ready for segment number two, where we'll find out entry number 21 and continue on the Royal Rumble. For Michael Norman, I'm Seth Cole. We'll see you guys next time in the continuation of the 6th Annual NSRA Royal Rumble from Talladega, No Walls.